Good morning everyone, I am Marie Fransamonte and I am going to discuss about the writing objective type test items which includes the alternative response test, matching type test, and multiple choice test. Alternative response test It consists of a declarative statement which allows students to choose between two comparable answers, one is correct and the other one is wrong. In more specific terms, alternative response items also places ideas, people, concepts into a dichotomy as noun, pronoun, living, non-living, democratic, autocratic, and the like. So here are the sample types of alternative response tests. True or false, right or wrong, correct or incorrect, fact or opinion, and yes or no. True or false items. It measures the ability to identify the correctness of statements of fact, definition of terms, statement of principles, and the like. It also measures the ability of the students to distinguish fact from opinion and to recognize cause and effect relationship. It also measures some simple aspect logic. So here is an example of a true or false items. The direction, if the statement is true, circle the T. If the statement is false, circle the F. The green coloring material in a plant leaf is called chlorophyll. Number two, the corolla of a flower includes petals and sepals. Number three, photosynthesis is the process by which leaves make food for a plant. If your answer is true, just encircle T and if false, encircle F. Next is an example of yes or no we have here the direction if the answer is yes circle the y if the answer is no circle the n one is 50 percent of 20 percent greater than 11 number two is one whole equal to five equal parts three is 25 percent of four 44 less than 12 your answer is yes and circle y if your answer is no and circle n next example right or wrong if the statement is right circle r if wrong circle w one all filipino citizens can vote and be voted upon two the right to vote is both a privilege and responsibility and three election protests are heard by the supreme court so if your answer is right just in circle R if your answer is wrong and circle W. Next, writing objective type test items is matching type. So matching type test measures the ability to identify the relationship between a set of similar items. So each of which has two components such as words and their definitions, symbols and their meanings, dates and events, causes and effects, people and their accomplishments, problems and solutions, etc. So the items in the first column are called promises and the answers in the second column are the responses. So we have here an example of a matching type test. So for the column A, here, these are the definitions or um, what you call promises. And then the column B are the answers. To the to the um, meaning or definitions from the column A. So this column B are called responses. Next is writing objective type test items, multiple choice. It consists of a question or statement to which you respond by selecting the best answer from among a number of choices. It tests what you know whether or not you understand or comprehend and your ability to apply what you have learned or application. Some questions might assess your ability to analyze or evaluate information but these kinds of questions are difficult to write so they aren't common on multiple choice exams. So here is an example of a multiple choice test and circle the letter of the correct answer. The question is what causes night and day? The choices are A. The earth spins on its axis B. The earth moves around the sun C. Clouds block out the sun's light D. The earth moves into and out of the sun's shadow 
Eid, the sun goes around the earth. So, there is only one correct answer from the choices. So, just encircle the letter of the correct answer. So, that's it for the writing objective type test. Items for alternative response, multiple choice, and matching type test. That's all. Thank you.